Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be going over um, the market, market analysis, and then uh, go over the best ticker setting up for the next week. So to start off, as usual, we'll start off with uh, looking at the indices. So we'll take a look at SPY and QQQ. So start off with the weekly chart. So as I mentioned before, SPY is really extended here, right? We got one, two, three, four, five weeks, five green weeks in a row, right? And then this week, we finally put in, or we finally had our first down week in a while. And uh, so far, this is completely normal action, right? We got extended, and now we're pulling back, and that's perfectly normal market behavior. So we want to see if we can hold uh, the previous resistance line. So this is now support. So 427, we want to see if we can hold that level, right? As long as we consolidate, pull back, we can we could potentially pull back more. Uh, but as long as we hold that 427 level, then uh, it should be a perfectly normal pullback. But if we start pulling back more than that, then that's where we start getting into trouble, right? And then we also have this trend line here that we want to make sure that we're able to hold. So ever since this trend line started, every single time we touched it, we bounced here, right? So first bounce, second bounce. Uh, this time we actually undercut it and then bounced again and then many bounces here so as long as this trend line holds then we'll continue to be in an uptrend but if we lose this trend line then there's a possibility that we could be going back into uh, a market pull or a, a more serious market pullback but for now i would say this is completely normal action last week and um, yeah as long as we hold that 427 level i think we are good but let's take a look at the daily chart yeah got really really extended here and now we're pulling back and yeah like i said before 427 is a key level and as long as we hold that we should be good to go um yeah but that's pretty much it let's take a look at qqq now start off with the weekly chart So QQQ, same thing as the SPY, but QQQ got even more extended, right? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. Eight green weeks in a row, right? So the QQQ definitely got a lot more extended. And we're at a key resistance level. 369 is exactly where we got rejected. And that's where we got rejected uh, two times in the past um, before. And then we also got rejected here a couple times. But yeah, this 369 level is definitely very key. And now that we made such a big move up, eight weeks up in a row, we definitely could see some major consolidation, right? We could consolidate for, again, eight weeks. It's possible. But the key for this is that we want to make sure that we, we continue holding this uh, uptrend level, or uptrend, right? So this is where it started. First bounce, second bounce, third bounce. And now we could potentially consolidate, 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 and then bounce again. Or we could fall back harder and then bounce. So those are two possible scenarios. And then the third one would just be we pull back hard and then we just continue breaking lower, which means that we are back to a more serious pullback and uh, the uptrend would, have, would be broken. But yeah, 330 is the first key support level if that does happen. But let me see if I can find more support levels. Let me take a look at the daily chart. So there was some support at that 348 level. We um, we got extended here, pulled back, and then bounced back, then rejected again, and then bounced back off that 348 level. So that could be the first support level, and it would be an important it it would be an important level for the bolts to hold. Overall, tech is still looking the strongest out of all the other stocks. And uh, yeah, tech is, I still think tech is where you want to be putting your money. Um, the Q QQQ is definitely a lot, long, <coughs> a lot stronger than the SPY. So yeah. Now we'll take a look at the big cap um, tech stocks. So we'll start off with uh, Tesla. So Tesla got extended, really, really extended, one, two, three, four, five weeks in a row, right? And it got in, in not just five up weeks in a row, but it made a really big move. Made 57%. And if you count it all the way to the top of last week, that's 67% off those lows, right? So really, really big move from Tesla. 
last couple weeks. Hey, look at that move. That's insane, right? And then it got extended, and now we're consolidating here. And this is perfectly normal action. I wouldn't be surprised if this gap got filled and we pulled back to 233. I think that would be perfectly normal action. But yeah, Tesla is definitely still pretty extended here. And it's actually building a little flag here. So we'll see if that can hold. And if it continues to break out, or I think I think it's very possible that we break down this time because we're just so consolidated. I mean, we're just so extended and some consolidation would be nice, but yeah, we'll see what happens with Tesla. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is still insanely, insanely strong. Really nice breakout. This was a, a textbook um, flag setup. And uh, yeah, this was a great trade if anyone took it. A really nice breakout. And now it's making another bull flag here. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, this one's setting up really, really nice again. And I think there's a good chance that we break out higher. But it is also a little bit extended and more consolidation would be wouldn't be a bad thing but yeah uh yeah nvidia looks insanely strong this is definitely a stock that you do not want to short because institutions have been piling into this thing like crazy so yeah definitely don't try to short the strongest stocks next up microsoft take a look at the weekly chart so Microsoft did make new all-time highs, which was very significant. Um, made that last week, and then this week it just put in a consolidation bar, which is perfectly normal action. This looks completely uh, fine here. Uh, let me draw another trend. So I think what uh, Microsoft needs is just more consolidation, and as as long as it holds up this uh, uptrend, it should be perfectly fine. But yeah, I think uh, I could see Microsoft going sideways for a couple of weeks, like it did here. Um, just some more consolidation. Wait for <clears throat> wait for the moving averages to catch up, and then we could pot potentially see that big three forty five breakout. Um, but yeah, really good action on Microsoft recently. Next up, we'll take a look at Google. So Google has been a little bit weaker the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been building this uh, bull flag here, and uh, it hasn't been moving higher like the other text or big cap tech stocks. But it's been consolidating nicely here, and it's building a nice bull flag. And I think it's ready to go anytime uh, soon. So it just needs to break that 125-ish, 125.5-ish level, and I think uh, we could see a good breakout from Google. But yeah, definitely still really good action, even though it hasn't been as strong. Definitely still good action from Google. And uh, as long as it holds that 119 level, that's key, right, for bulls. And we actually did test that last week. We got to 119.6, and we bounced back. But, um, yeah, as long as that level holds, bulls should be fine on this. Next up is Amazon. So Amazon's been, Amazon's been slowly grinding higher and higher every single week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Up weeks in a row now. Um, yeah, not really much to say for Amazon except that it has room to 139. And uh, it's not really that extended, so it can definitely still make a big move here. Um, Amazon's been one of the slower movers this year. And although it did get a good bounce, it's definitely not as strong as uh, uh, things like NVIDIA or Apple or Microsoft, right? This is still definitely well below its all-time high, so definitely still a lot of upside potential for Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. AMD. AMD has been really weak the last week. It completely broke down. Um, or not broke down, but it broke that 117 level, which was a key support level, and then it flushed pretty hard. But I think all it was trying to do is gap fill, so we should see a bounce here. Um, if that 108 level does not hold, then we could see a pullback to 104. But yeah, you want to see if we can reclaim that 117 level. If not, then good chance we can just go sideways. And if we lose that 108 support level, then a good chance we could see 104. But yeah, that's pretty much it for AMD. Apple. Apple has been acting super, super well. Super strong. No pullbacks at all. And this stock, I think, can just continue to chug along higher. It's been holding this uptrend really well, making new all-time highs. No sellers here. 
and it's just going higher and higher. I think the next target would be 190. And then, uh, yeah, not much else to say. Really good action on Apple. No one shorting this thing at all. Um, yeah, it's just been going higher and higher every single day this year. Really good action from Apple. Um, yeah, next up, we'll take a look at Netflix. So Netflix made a really strong move off the lows. Really nice rally. It's been holding this uptrend really well. And now it finally got past that 420 level, which is the major resistance level. And now we're consolidating, making a little bull flag here. So I think it's possible we could consolidate for a couple weeks more or even wait for this trend line to catch up, for price to catch up to this trend line. Consolidate, 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 and then tighten up and then break out. But really good action on Netflix so far. And uh, yeah, next target would be next target would be that 475 level. Next up, we'll take a look at Meta. Um, not much to say for Meta. It's been acting really, really well. Like Netflix, really strong bounce off the lows, and it's just been grinding higher all year long. And then next target would be 295. And it's not too extended here, so it can definitely make that move uh, sometime next week. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Meta. Really good action. Okay, uh, I think that's all the big cap deck stocks. Now we'll take a look at some names that have been acting really well recently. Start off with uh, CRCT. So this name doubled off, or doubled, yeah. It went up more than double, actually. Almost 150% off the lows here. So really strong move in just a couple of weeks and uh, really nice volume bars as you can see on the weekly really nice accumulation signs so this one is a recent IPO as well so it has potential it broke the space and uh, now you want to wait for more consolidation more sideways action and see if it can form a tight bull flag a good risk reward entry and this, and this is one that you definitely want to be looking out for because Anything that's doubling in price in a short period of time means that institutions are loading up into this name. So you definitely want to keep your eye on names like that. Next up, we'll take a look at Shake Shack. So this one's a little bit choppier, but it's been acting really well this year. Um, so this this is what I meant by choppy action. It goes sideways a lot, but this one's been grinding higher recently. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. Um, So building a nice uptrend here and it's just been yeah, slowly grinding up and up this year uh, nice accumulation signs on the volume um, but yeah really good action and let's see if we can make another breakout too but yeah this one's this is one that you want to keep your eye on it's been acting really well all year long uh, we'll take a look at ARKK um, let's go to the weekly so it broke this big base, right? The 41 level was the clear resistance level, and that's the level that matters the most right now. So we have been building an uptrend off the lows, and it's been acting really well so far, but we pulled back in pretty hard this week, and we want to make sure we can bounce off it, or worst case, we pull back to 41 and or 40.8, and we want to make sure that we can at least hold that level and then bounce off again. But yeah, that's the key for ARKK here. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Uber. Uber's another one that's been acting really well this year. Again, this one's like uh, Shake Shack. It's just been grinding higher and higher. And we're getting to this 44 level. And uh, yeah, we could potentially see a big breakout here, right? So yeah, this one's acting really, really well. Tightening up, tightening up, and then we could see a big breakout here. Uh, really good action from Uber. Yeah, definitely want to keep this. Definitely, you definitely want to keep this one on your watch list. Uh, next up, Celsius. Again, same thing. This one's just been grinding higher and higher. Really nice volume bars. Look at that volume. Look at that volume. Right. This one's just uh, yeah, acting really well here. And it looks ready to take off once more. Uh, this this one fifty level has been a key resistance level, and if we can take that out, then a chance that we can grind higher and this one's so yeah just going into all-time highs so yeah really good action from this one and then one more 
Mara. So Bitcoin has been acting really, really well recently. Uh, the last week specifically, really nice uh, breakout, really nice volume. Um, oops, let me remove this. So this was the breakout. It broke this 10.5 level. It's been trying to break that for a really long time here, right? It's been going sideways, and it finally did that. And now we're back at this uh, previous resistance level 12, and now another resistance level 13. And if we can take that out, there's a good chance that we can continue grinding a lot higher. But Bitcoin's looking really good, and I think uh, we can make move a, a much bigger move here. So definitely keep Bitcoin names on your watch list. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.